Hey guys, Monsuno Vlogs here, and today I'm back with another toy review. And today we're gonna be doing something very different. We're gonna be doing a three Monsuno toy review. So that means, technically for me, that means we're gonna do one, two, three Monsunos in one video. Let's get to it. So first, this is Spider Wolf, but I don't have a character card for him, so I just used his poster because that's the only thing I had similar to a character card. So let's get started with, hmm. I think we could get started with Long Fang because he's pretty legit. So let's grab his cards, let's move these guys out of the way. Oh, oh, you kind of saw a sneak peek of Whipper there. Okay, set that down. Okay, so we only have two character cards up for Long Fang, so nothing much there. So we have Long Fang's character card, which he has 100 health, 10 hit points, launches 4, speed is 2, name is Long Fang, beast and resistant, battle ready, and his name speaks for itself. It's, oh no, I forgot what that is. Um, it's stealth and attack. It's 30. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, and the last card for him, which is kind of funny, because usually we have like more than 5. Zero hit points, um, oh. It's intelligent. It has intelligence and attack. The card type is stealth. Launch five. No, sorry. Launch two. Speed five. Special. Long Fang. Long Fang. This card gets a damage bonus equal to the damage already on your Monsuno. I still don't know what that number means. So there we have Long Fang. So let's get him right out of his core. So obviously, he has pretty good artwork there. I like the way he has blue there and white there. It's pretty similar to air switches, which I did in the last video. So let's get him unlocked. There we go. He's unlocked. Let's pop him out. Oh, oh no, he got jammed. Come on, buddy. You get. Oh, okay. He just went back in. You know what? You're, you're in timeout. Okay, so move that to the side. Here we have Long Fang. So he's pretty. He's pretty decent. I mean. He has a pretty good body painting on the sides right there. I really like that. His butt is kind of spring-loaded. He has 20 hit points, and it takes three hits for him to get to 19. So there is Long Fang. Let's fold him up. So I'm pretty sure this is what happens. You fold these two hind legs back like that. Boom, like a square. I'm going to take the tail, the tip of the tail. We're going to move it like that. So the tip is technically pointing out, which is good. And I think we're just going to fold those two front legs up. And there we go. We have him put in his core. Let's lock that and give it a nice little spin. Beautiful. That was Long Fang, guys. Now on to Whipper. So for Whipper, let's get started with his cards. I like, well, actually, I like to think of Whipper as a girl because, I don't know why. It's just because Ginger has her and, I don't know, I just have, I don't know. It's weird. I just feel like that's, Whipper's a girl. Anyway, on to the cards. So, Whipper has 130 health, 10 hit points, launch is 5, speed is 1. Not that fast at all. Scale, defender, gang 5, speed. Still don't know what that symbol is. Please comment below. Um, 40 is stealth and intelligence, and boom, shakalaka. So, it's special, oh, there's its special move, Sonic Blast, launches 3, speed is 7, wow, now she gained speed. 10 hit points, the card is reckless and attack, this card type is intelligence. Your foe must use their Monsuno's basic strike damage. So that is Whipper. Get her out of her core. Unlock that. Oh, well, she really wanted to join the party. I really like the artwork on that. Pretty similar to Long Fang's core because it has tips that are just shaded in. So here's Whipper. Let's get your huge tail out of the way. There is Whipper, guys. She's like a cheetah, um, triceratops. Chameleon thingy, bababi. Some of these I can't even explain. Anyway, so she has 10 hit points. You have to hit her four times for her health to go to nine. Sorry, I just couldn't think of my numbers there. 
for a second. Um, let's fold her up. Now, this looks very complicated. Very complicated. Very complicated. Okay, guys, I think we got it. So what I did, oh, God, no, it messed up. So what I did, I took the tail, I put it in like that, and then I just put the head back, which kind of looks weird, but yeah. Um, And I did that, so hopefully that's right. I mean, the peg is out like it should be. Put it in the court. Come on. Come on, Whipper. Yes. That's how, okay, that's how you fold it. Boom. So let's lock that baby. Give her a little spin. And now we're going to go on to the one and only, which is Spider Wolf. I kind of forgot the name for a second. But yeah. Oh, well. Oh, God. Oh, blooper. What is with my videos and all these bloopers? Jeez. Anyway, so Spider Wolf here, and let's review his card. Well, his cards. He only has two cards. So here's the poster to his card because he doesn't have a character card. So let's unfold this. It's huge. Okay, so we're going to have to do this. I'm going to have to go the card by sections. So his health is 120. This is so funny. 120. Hit points are zero. There's his picture. That's his picture. The name of the card is Spider Wolf Launch 4 Speed 2. It's signed by the creator of Monsuno, which is actually pretty cool. Um, the card is beast resistant. It's I still don't know what that is. Um... The Monsuno gets 10 plus damage to his direct strike cards. The card types are Stealth and Intelligence, which is 30. That's a huge card. Starting to ache my arm. Let's fold this thing back up. Oh, God. This is going to be a long toy review. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Pro style. On to his move. So, it's a direct move. The, the hit points are 10. Speed is 5. Launch is 2. Internal spear. And then, they, they're all... The, wait, let's do this. Discipline direct, which I already read before, but yeah. They are all Team Cortec. Five sitting ducks in a row. Lat. The card type is... Oh, it has Reckless and Stealth, and the card type is Attack. So, there we go. That is Spider Wolf's cards slash card, because technically a poster. So, yeah. Okay, Spider Wolf open. So, I love Eclipses. I don't really like the Team Eclipse, but I love their design on their cores. Like, it's so awesome. So... Let's, oh, that's their symbol, by the way. It's like a planet with, like, Saturn rings around it. Unlock him. He wanted to join the party fast. Whoa, that is a complicated arm sculpture there. Jeez. Look at that. Now I see why he's called Spider Wolf, but I don't see eight legs. I just, I just don't. Anyway, so his hit points are 20, and it takes two hits to make him go to 19. So, take a little good look at him. There we go. And let's fold him up. So, this looks pretty easy. So, I think what we do is take the tail, which is attached to the peg. So, let's put that like that. Let's put his arms like that and fold them back. And then his legs like that. Yeah, I think I got it. I think I got it, guys. Let's put him in his core. Please work. Please work doesn't not work maybe if we do this will it work now still won't work okay um let me think of this let's do this how did i get him in this core anyway um oh wait maybe if we put him down like that i don't think that'll work though because like they're too far down oh yeah it would Oh, pro style. Okay, so let's lock him. Let's give him a little spin. Oh, okay, that was malfunctioning. That went super far. Let's 
try to make him go straight. That was a horrible. The only thing that I'm bad at with the Eclipse cores is spinning them. So there was his little spin. And that is it for Spider Wolf. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like and comment. That would be great. And if this happens to be the first video seen by me, then please do subscribe because I'm a great person and I just might subscribe back to you. So, I will see all of you guys in my next toy review on Monsuno. So, bye!